Hello, it's Steve here from Showrooms Online and we're at Galton Lock by Countryside Properties and this development is in Smethwick in the West Midlands. It's a beautiful canal side location. Now, the house type behind me is the Tamar, a beautiful four bedroom, three story house. Now this has got a Romeo and a Juliet balcony. Oh yeah, two of them. Uh, I'll just playing that up a little bit there, but I've got some beautiful brick detail on there and you know how much I like that. So let's go and take a look around. Hello Emma. Hello. Welcome to the Tamar yeah. by Countryside Properties at Galton Lock in Smelik, okay, yeah. in the West Midlands. Oh dear, I've got a light on. Oh, it's okay. But this is a brand new Ooh. show home, this is. This has only just been yes. um, chosen for a show home. And it's been chosen for a show home for a very good reason, which we'll show you when we yeah. get a bit further. I mean, this site the... does have three beautiful show homes on the, on the yeah. front as you come in anyway, but this is an additional one, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's just giving these, these are some beautiful houses yeah. that have been built on this specific location, yes. which I'll show you why when we go up further into the house so we've got this hallway first so we've got four bed here we have um, four bed three story yeah. so we've got this really big entrance hall it is quite big isn't it spacious yeah it certainly is I, yes i quite like this little nook that's here look i like that's, the um the glass bricks yeah that's Lovely. just a nice little feature isn't it really nice yeah. It just adds that little bit of extra light through, doesn't it? Yeah, it it's nice and very finished really, really well. So off this hallway, so we've got a radiator here and the stairs Yeah, going. You, you've got that little tucking bit there where they've got the coat, um, coat stand. Yeah. But if I open this door, which is right by the front door, you've got your downstairs cloakroom. Now what you've got to understand about countryside properties is a lot of what you see is what you get with them. Um, I mean, obviously on normal show homes we have stickers over them, but you, it'd be worth just speaking to the sales negotiator about uh, exactly what is included. Um, but we've got this nice WC here. Um, you can see that, oh, that, that really stylish um, toilet there, very nice. And this tiling runs straight into here. And you've got a little window there. We've also got in here as well, we've got the RCD box there and the alarm as well. And it's worth noting about the alarm system that it's a very, very advanced alarm system where you can set, you know, all digital, you can set zones, etc. And really control how your alarm system works within your house. So, Come and have a look through here. So this is your kitchen diner, all open plan. Beautiful. I mean, they've got a high gloss, white high gloss kitchen. Mm, nice. Shall I open this yeah. door? Yeah. I'm just yeah. In looking at this door furniture here. It's very nice, very stylish. So underneath here, we've got this little storage area here. All really important. So you've got your modem box there as well, yeah. some plugs, and uh, all you need. Nice bit of storage space there. It's useful in the kitchen, actually. But you've got a radiator there in that little bit. Very light. I like how the, the, the stairs are just mm. pinched in, they sort of nip the way into the corner of that room there. Oh, there we go. Right, let me open some cupboards. So you've got your fridge and freezer at the end. Oh, oh wow. That's quite nice, isn't it? I didn't it? expect that. What a nice so, feature. Lovely larder cupboard. What a good yeah. idea. You could have space it now. You could get a lot in that, couldn't you? Isn't that nice? So we've got some AEG appliances here. We have. So you've got your oven and your separate grill. Beautiful. Okay, so plenty of cupboard space above and below. Let me go this way. So cupboard space below the counter. The large drawers, which I think are really lovely. So you've got space in there with all your different compartments and your uh, utensils and things. So these are your pan drawers, which I just think are fantastic. Such a good idea, with the soft close. So lots of cover to eye line. There's your extractor. Nice glass um, splash back there as well. Yeah. And what do you think about the work top? Very nice. That's Wood effect, nice. isn't it? Effect. You can actually feel the grain. You can actually feel the grain on it. So you've got a gas hob. This one's got five burners. So you've got the big ring in the middle, which is, is good for a, a wok. Or a big stew pan if you've yeah. got one. So your sink's on this side. Well, it's just it, if it's not enough that there's all this storage to this side, there's yeah, then you've got a lot going on over here as well. You've got a space there which could be for your washing machine or dishwasher. I'm just going to 
just having a look what else we've got. What's on the end there? The cupboards. Just cupboards. So a lot of these cupboards, okay. if you well, if you look at them, I think a lot of those can be utilised and moved about. To you could get two appliances into that easily. Yeah, I would say this. You could put an integrated dishwasher here, definitely, and then have your washing machine there if you yeah. wanted. I mean, you can configure the kitchen however you want yeah. it. Ultimately, so you've got a one and a half uh, bowl sink there, and that's Blanco, which is a really good make. Plenty of sockets as well, look. You've got one there, yeah, all your switches there. And your isolators there. So natural, the in actual room. fact, it is quite wide, isn't it? Really? Yeah, it, is. it feels like a galley kitchen, but it's actually quite wide, isn't it? It is. Yeah. And then you've got this lovely dining area at this side. Oh, trademark countryside property skylights. Look at those. They're big, yeah, they gorgeous. are, aren't they? They are big. And we always pick a nice day to come to countryside properties. Um, you certainly have today, it's beautiful. Yeah. Now, you're not going to get any wow factor on that garden, it is what it is, because it is an additional show home, but you know, yes. you've got a good space there to do work, work wonders with really. Very easy to manage, yeah. I would imagine. Yeah. But, you've got this window to the side here, and there's the back of the yeah, garage, you've actually, actually got a door at yeah. the back of the garage that take get back out into the garden. Yeah. But this is nice, an extra window. Yeah. But also, with your French doors, you've got the small windows either side, so you can just open them up for a bit of fresh air. Plenty of glass then in this end of the kitchen, isn't it? It is, there? and you've actually, these big skylights as well have got these big blinds in them as well, which are really nice. You'll have, well, not blinds, I mean, obviously that's to open them, but you can, you know, we've seen them with the big blinds across, haven't we? Find the table. Excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> what you don't realise is I walk backwards a lot in this uh, show homes online, so I have to watch what I'm doing. But look at that, I'm walking out of that kit. Look how big that space is. Really is a tremendous space. I always feel with countryside properties houses that they always look like when you come through the front door, they go on and on and on to the back, don't they? Mm -hmm. This lovely picture here in the this hallway. Excuse me, look, there's our light up off camera. Kind of autumny winter, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's that time it's of year now. Of what's coming? Yes. Right, we should take a look up to the first. What floor. I do want to say before we go up okay. there is we've actually got the banister running up there. It doesn't have to run up there, but it's just a nice detail, isn't it? But you can see as well as I stop and you look up, you can see the detail and the plastering into the stairs. They're beautiful. Good, good. Good craftsmanship. Now I am literally blasted with heat up yeah, here now. Feel it as you come yeah, up the stairs. you really, really can. Wow. And I'm not going to give too much away in these rooms, so. Wow. Whoa. Me. Yeah. I think we'll start in the bathroom then, which is at the rear then. Wow. We've got a bath and a separate shower cubicle. It's mm. got its own window. It's very warm. <laughs> You know, it's got, it's weird, you know. When I was a kid, I used to review show homes and sometimes you'd have to, I could always remember the smell. Show home smell. Yeah, and this has got that it's very nostalgic got smell. Anyway, um, enough of the flannel. It, it's the smell of fresh paint, new carpet. Yeah, because this is a new show it's home, brand, brand new. new, and that's how we like it to get them. It smells delicious. So, yes. the shower room, look at that. It's a good size oh. It's not a shower room, it's a shower cubicle. Yeah. Separate shower cubicle. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, yeah, I'm correcting on that. But look at the detail and the tiling is wonderful. Let's get a door open. Look at that. The tiling's brilliant. The textured on one side, but you, your showers run off the boiler there, which means you get a really good good pressure on it as well. Um, good size. Please with that. If you come through that way, it's got a hair washing shower above on the on the uh, on the bath taps there, which is I know from experience it's a fantastic little addition yeah. if you've got one of those. Really super. Again, worth checking with the sales negotiator what's actually included. Yes. But we do know that a lot is included with countryside properties that you might not yeah. get with other developers. Big window. A 
and that's a substantial towel rail, isn't it? It is, it? isn't it? That, you can certainly put some That's probably what's giving off all the heat. Yeah, something definitely <laughs> yeah. is, because it's cooking up here. But you open that, open up that... Um, Vanity unit. Yeah, I always get that really. But look there at we that. go. But it's actually, if you open it, it's got two sections in it, hasn't it, Emma? Has it? Yeah, look, 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 open that one. Oh, I see. Oh, there you go. <laughs> but no, it's nice light, isn't it? Tucked in. So, ideal standard sanitary wedge. Look how beautiful that sink is there. The quality in that and that beautiful tap there. I love all that sort of stuff for me. I'm more back for it. very, very nice. Very nice. So, right, on, on this level, we've got bedroom two, which is 3 metres 68 by 3 metres 32. This is a big room. Do you know, I think I forgot to give our viewers the dimensions for the kitchen diner. I was so blown away. Okay, kitchen diner downstairs, 7 metres 66 by 2 metres 77 in width. Okay. But as I always say, it'll all be in the description box down below as well. Yeah. Oh, I like the leaves. They're lovely, yeah. aren't they? Very autumn, autumnal. Yeah. It's a good sized bedroom, this. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. 3 metres 68 by 3 metres 32. So you've got a ward, like I say, without that wardrobe, have you mentioned that? I haven't, but yeah, it might right. be an extra, so you do need to speak yeah, to the sales right. negotiator. It is a nice wardrobe there, glass sliding doors there. Mm. Um, you've got this window here, which is, gives you a view onto the rear view garden there. Kind of nice having a bedroom on this level. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a long Now then, there is something special about this room, isn't there, Steve? Oh, so special. Yeah. Look at that round there. Well, I suppose you could have a dining table there, couldn't yeah. you, if you wanted? Or you could have a desk, that could be your office. You could even fit a really lovely corner sofa. Well, in fact, there's plenty of places you could have a corner sofa. Well, how you could configure this. Right, lounge. 5 metres 51 by 4 metres 34. So, I would say... 5 metres 51 is the length, 4 metres 34 is possibly that yeah. width, isn't it's it? A, it, is a, it, it is an, an interesting shape, isn't it? Is, it is, because obviously it's an L shape, isn't it? So, let's get on to this development now. So, let's go over to the window. Now, you can see what why they've made this show home. Now, this overlooks, mm. oh, I just kind of love that view. You've got that kind of industrial backdrop there. Which you'd expect at this, this, you know, this this area. Well, tell the viewers where we are. Well, we're actually in um, in Smedic, um, which is you no know, sort of Sandwell, that neck of the woods, really, in the West Midlands. Now, what's really good about this area is you've got that beautiful canal there, which you'll see in some of the pictures we take. You can just see the canal just coming past there. How beautiful would it be just living here, mm -hmm. um, overlooking the canal? And countryside properties are renowned for the landscaping, so you can see they're really how about making a really good feature of that canal. But also, you imagine undoing your uh, your doors pulling them open you've got a beautiful Juliet balcony yeah. you've got that view you're not overlooked at the front beautiful yeah I think it's really nice so what are we really that Smethic I mean mm. what kind of what do we know about Smethic now I, what I know about Smethic is do you know you're not West Bromwich is the nearest ta proper town now that's got all what you need there you've got you've got all the shops etc but also you've got Oldbury which has got a fantastic retail park and you're not too far away for, from the motorway junction, the M5 right. and the M6. I think you're pretty much on five, it. Five minutes yeah. from the junction. But the also, M5 and the M6, very, very well connected here. You've got IKEA, Decathlon, lots and lots and lots and really of things to do to around here. Birmingham is so near from here. So, canal location, yep. great motorway links. Sorry, I just noticed a, a cyclist. If you just Turn around, show the viewers outside. So, if you're into cycling, oh, we cycle the canals. But that's it. You've got it's got everything you want, hasn't it? Oh, just imagine it. You could just it's a great it's just a great place to it live. It is a good location. Anyway, moving on, moving on. Okay, so we will move lounge. on. Good lounge. Go and take a look at the second floor. So as I'm coming up, look at the volume and that ceiling up there. That is a proper. Wow, that is fine. So let's go up and have a look. 
You can just feel that how well insulated this house is. Do you know, I think it's getting warmer yeah. the higher up we go. But I want to just make, I need to, we'll check the radiators, see if the radiators are on. But even with this three story house, we've still got a loft hatch with loft storage up the yeah. top there. Wow. You can't argue with that, can you? But it is proper toasty. Yeah. Isn't it? Right, so at the back then, we've got bedroom four. Right, so we're up on the, up on, the second floor now. Second floor. So bedroom four, two meters sixty-two by two meters fifty-six. So they've got a bed and a desk in here. Now what I love, a little addition that Countryside have started doing, which a lot of developers aren't really catching up with, and that is the USB sockets. Ah oh, yes. You can see those. Yeah. Uh, I think for modern homes they are an essential. They are. They? they are. They, they really, really are. are. I really like the doors as well. Nice quality doors. Mm -hmm. Lovely, you know, lovely little te wood texture. But a good, good room. I'm gonna... Really good sized bedroom. Considering that that is the smallest of the four bedrooms. I hate to tell you this. The radiator is on on. R what? The radiator really? is on on and it's warm. Well, where is the heat coming from? That is insulation. Wow. That is insulation. Gosh. Countryside properties we can say have very well insulated properties. You've just come into bedroom three here. Oh yes, I welcome. Feel that radiator there, Steve, and see no, if it's yeah, on. No, yeah, no, nothing, no. nothing. Why? Wow. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> now with winter coming. I know it's quite warm outside, but it's unbelievably warm. Inside. Yeah, but just think if it's win winter's coming, yeah. that's going to cut your fuel bills yeah. like nobody's. So, this bedroom, three meters sixty-eight by two meters seventy-eight. Another good sized bedroom, plenty of room either side of the bed. Standalone wardrobe there. You've got a double bed, but you could have a much bigger bed in here if you wanted. Really good size. We have a cupboard here on the landing. Oh, there you go. Yeah. The heat from that is <laughs> tremendous, isn't it? Yeah. So that's your cylinder, even well, though the heating's not on. He's doing his job, isn't he? Wow. So then this is the master bedroom, bedroom one. What a lovely bedroom. I really like the natural products, the wood, yeah. the sort of Urkel style furniture. Bedroom one, four metres 34 by three metres 28. Now they've got some fitted wardrobes with mirrored doors in here. They may be an extra, but what a fantastic place for them. Look at that light fitting. Hmm. And this bedroom's got an ensuite. It feels really there. spacious, yeah. doesn't it, in here? Yeah, and a bit more of a view of the canal now. So it's a great, it's, I just love, honestly, I absolutely love, and you can see Birmingham over in the background. I actually just love that urban scenery. Mm. But how lovely to have French doors and a Juliet balcony in your bedroom. You could just open them up, couldn't you, on a beautiful day? Yeah. Have a view of the canal. There's even a lock over there, look. And that's why it's called Galton Lock. Galton Lock. Yes. So have a quick look in the uh, in the ensuite, Steve. So this is obviously where you would uh, pop your TV on the wall there with those points. You could do. Look at that for a bank. So of the ensuite. Now, again, we've got the same ideal standard um, sink in that here. This, with this beautiful unit as well, you did the two phased unit that I showed you earlier on, which is very nice. Mm -hmm. Soft close as well. Good size window with two openers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a really good size shower. This has got to be the hottest house I've been mm -hmm. in. Yes, I'm actually sweating. Yeah. <laughs> That's how hot it is. That is a good size shower, isn't it? Again, run off the boiler, so you've got a good, a good shower, good pressure. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's decent. So, no worrying about whether you'd be warm enough in this house yes. because you'd be toasty. Yes. It feels like it did a few weeks ago, you know, when we had that really, really yeah. hot weather. So just to mention as well that this house has got uh, an integral garage and also a bit of a carport yeah. as well. You can, it is, and it's got a driveway. So yeah, in theory, as well. if you parked in the garage, you could park your mm -hmm. car in the garage, yeah. plus one just under the carport and one on the drive. So Actually, three... I, I think you've got parking for two cars there on the front. Actually, you're right. Yeah. And there's plenty of space in front of the house Oh, as well. you do get a lot for your money here. So what's Particularly this... with this house, because this house is the end of the drive. What's this it? priced at at the moment? I think there's a couple left, isn't there? What are they at? 
think it's about 289 I think. But the, pro the, the price will be in the description box down below. And but different to each plot. It's, yes, that's it. It's plot, plot specific. Yeah. Obviously, this one has got the superb view. Um, wow. So it's always best to get in touch with Countryside yourself yeah. uh, and ask about availability. Sorry, and I, this is, I am boiling. And this is one of many Countryside property developments um, yeah. in the Midlands because this is part of their expansion of their Midlands region. So if you want to have a look at further Countryside properties, then take a look on our website yeah. um, and you'll be able to find the link to Countryside properties um, and you'll be able to see some of the house types we've reviewed by them. Mm -hmm. We're obviously trying to get around them um, and give you as much choice as we possibly can but you know we are always we've always been impressed with countryside haven't we yeah, you know and have. we've reviewed their houses all over the country so as I've mentioned the dimensions as we've been walking around they will all be in the description box down below along with some information about this development and, and the house type in general uh, so don't forget to check that out there'll also be a link back to countryside's own website so that you can get in contact with them directly about availability and prices etc yeah but we will catch you on our next video very soon. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.